So let's take a look at how we treat the leading tone triad in part writing. If we know that this is a leading tone triad in first inversion, the notes we need are B, D, F. Okay. So when we add the soprano note, we have three choices. And let's take a look just uh, one by one and see how it works. Okay. First, let's give the soprano note D. Okay. Now, remember with our first inversion triad, you double the soprano. So we're going to need two Ds. All right. Now, in this case, the bass and the soprano are the same note. Okay, so we've taken care of both Ds. And remember, when the bass and soprano are the same note, we use open or close structure. So, for example, we can give the alto this uh, B here, and then we would, of course, give the tenor an F. Okay. And everything's good. Okay. Now, what if we give the soprano note F? Again, with a first inversion chord, we double the soprano. So we're going to need two Fs. Okay. Now, in this case, the bass and the soprano note are different notes, so we can use neutral or octave or unison structure. Okay. In this case, since the soprano is high, I'm going to choose to use octave structure. So with octave structure, I'm going to give the alto the F, and then the tenor voice would get the B. Okay. And everything's good. Now, so far so good, but what happens if the soprano note is B? Okay. Now, in a first inversion chord, you're supposed to double the soprano. But, remember in the last lesson, the first rule of a leading tone triad, never double the leading tone. Okay? So, we're obviously going to run into a problem here. Okay, so we can't double that B. We have to choose another note to double. Okay? The logical choice is to double the bass. So, we're going to double that bass note. We're going to have two Ds. Alright? So we've got one B taken care of, the bass has a D. That means we can give the alto note, the F, and let's give the tenor note the remaining D. Okay. And that's how you deal with a first inversion chord when the soprano note has the leading tone. Okay. So again, never double the leading tone. So if the soprano note has the leading tone, then you have to double the bass. Okay. Do some practice with this, and then uh, we're going to talk about a different kind of cadence in the next lesson.